Our next guest is a Grammy award-winning performer whose new movie, Honest Thief, will be out October 9th. We love him here on this show so much. Please welcome the remarkable Anthony Ramos is here. How are you, Anthony? You good? Good, brother. I'm so good, man. It's good to see you, man. It's so nice to see you. Now, where in the world are you right now? I'm in Budapest right now, shooting, filming, working. So what are you shooting out there? I'm shooting a movie, uh, a space movie called Distant that I'm very excited about. Well, a movie about any form of distance is the perfect movie for this coronavirus right now, let's be honest. Yes, yes, could not be more relevant. So I hope everyone likes it when it comes out in 2086 or whenever. <laughs> <laughs> now, 2020 has been terrible for a lot of people, but you have had a quite incredible summer. Um, obviously, Hamilton was released on Disney Plus. It's been a staple in our house with me and the kids the whole summer. I'm interested to know, when you watched it back, how did it feel for you watching it, having, such, having distance between when you were last performing it on stage? Yo, like, I mean, it was, uh, it was wild, man. It was a blast from the past, you know, like, we, uh, Jasmine and I watched it at our, at our apartment and we, we invited Oak. He also lives in New York and he came over and uh, who plays Hercules Mulligan. And we just sat there, man, and, and the, the movie ended and, uh, and Jasmine's mother and my mom were there too, man. And we just like got emotional. We just held each other. We did like a, we, we just like circled up and we just held each other for, for at least like three to five minutes, man. Just really like, uh, you know, we, we couldn't believe we made that, man. It's like, it's crazy. Just, you know, five years later and you're watching yourself on the screen and you like, basically like, yo, this is immortalized. But when you auditioned for the show, you didn't even have an agent when you met Lin-Manuel Miranda, right? I mean, that's going to annoy lots of young aspiring actors out there. How does that even happen? How did you come to be in Hamilton? Man, I was, uh... The, I, was in, I was doing a cruise ship on Royal Caribbean Cruise Line, Liberty of the Seas. I was doing Saturday Night Fever, the musical. Uh, I was on there for like nine and a half months. I come off of this ship and I, I was, and then um, I think I had gotten a job doing a show at Radio City Music Hall. Uh, it was like their equivalent to the, to, to the Christmas Spectacular, but, um, uh, but it was for spring. So we're in rehearsals for that. And I'm doing, these are on open auditions. I'm just castings on backstage or wherever you can find the auditions in New York. That's, you know, and, and I go, I audition, I get this job or whatever. Even before I left the ship, I get an email while I was in like Italy or something. Yo, we, we want you for, I'm like, thank God. Cause I didn't know what I was going to do after this ship. But basically that show gets canceled a week before previews. But, but while that show, while we were rehearsing for that show, I went to another open audition at Telsey in New York, another casting company in New York. And I, I you know, I, I sing Ain't Too Proud to Beg for the Temptations. Casting director's like, oh, great job. You know, this dude, Andrew Feminelli, he had these red glasses and he was sitting so far away from me. I was like, okay, cool. I get an email, we want you to audition for this thing called Hamilton's Mixtape. I was like, I don't know what this is. Look at it, Lynn, Manuel, Tommy Kale, all of the same guys from In the Heights that they're in the Heights. And I yeah. was like, yo, this might be fly. Next thing you know, fast forward, bro. Like, I did four auditions. They called me back. They didn't know how it was going to work out with this other schedule. But I got fired, basically, on a Friday at, like, 1 o'clock. And then at 4 o'clock, they're like, yo, so we heard about your job. Uh, Heart and Lights, we heard it's canceled. We want you for Hamilton's mixtape. Oh, and my was, God. It's crazy. After, after the, you know, both the whole cast, and we all got fired. We emptied out all the fridges of alcohol. We're all partying. Like, this is <laughs> the <laughs> And, uh, you know, I get the call, man. And I was like, I, I was like, man, I can't believe this. You know, so that's how it happened. Absolutely incredible. And then, obviously, now you're in the In the Heights movie, which we, we hope so much is going to come out next year. And I, for one, am going to be first in line to see it. The trailer alone got me hugely excited. But you've also got, now got this incredible music career and after the break you're going to perform your new single stop uh, tell us about the song what's the the message behind it well, stop you know stop was 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 written for uh you know it, i was basically i just didn't know how to do that in my life and that's something that i still am working on but it, the song i wrote before this pandemic like it was i wrote this song on march 3rd i guess the pandemic was beginning um or being you know, publicized on the news at that point. But like, 
yo, like March 3rd, I was in LA on a two month trip for, for writing. I wrote the song. It was just about my life and how I didn't know how to stop and how I really needed, you know, I wanted to, to learn how to just be present in the moment and just like take in every moment in my life and like enjoy it. If I'm just sitting with you and talking with you, James, I'm, I'm with you. I ain't thinking about nothing else. You know, if I'm, if I'm on a hike, that's what I'm doing. If I'm just by myself in a room, that's what I'm doing, you know, and, and really like trying to, to continue to do that. And then March 4th, I fly back home and two weeks, a week or two later, the world stopped, like the country stopped, the country shut down and I was really forced to stop. And the song just was like, yo, I was like, dang, this is, this feels like the craziest foreshadowing. Like I, I, this, I, this totally was not meant, this wasn't about this moment in the world's time. It was this moment, it was about a moment in my life that has now become this song feels like it's become uh, about this moment in the world, you know, not even just in America, but around the world. We've all, we all stopped unanimously together. So, um, and, and, and finding the joys, man, and the love and, and, and the beauty um, in, in the moments where we just get to just like be still. We love you so much. I'm so happy for everything that's happening in your life and career right now. And I'm so happy that you're going to be performing after the break. Stick around. Anthony Ramos will be here performing right after this. Come on back, everybody. <laughs>